You can thank Officer Sachs here for saving that evidence. She jumped in front of a train. Really? You know that's crazy, right? I'm not crazy. Take it as a compliment. Crazy is never a compliment. What's your career track, Officer Sachs? Detective? CSI? No interest in either one. You're gonna patrol a train station for the rest of your career then. There are worse jobs. So then what exactly in your railway expertise made you think this evidence was worth risking your life to save? It looked important. Everything posed. Like... Whoever was doing this was playing a game, and I wanted to have all the pieces. Well, you were right. It's him, isn't it? The bone collector. And what do you know about the bone collector? Purposely left evidence for police to find, expertly cleaned up crime scenes, put his victims in situations that wouldn't kill them right away. Being victims in five years, sometimes we find them only minutes after they die. Hadn't been heard from since... Since he paralyzed me. Three years, two months, and 16 days ago. Do you know how he got his name? He chose it himself. He wrote a letter to reporters in the department saying most people are nothing but piles of bones and signed it the bone collector. I need someone to be in my eyes and ears at the next crime scene. I think we previously established that I'm not a detective or a CSI. Which means you don't have to learn line bad habits. You're a blank slate with great instincts. Hmm, is that another compliment? Feel free to say no and get back to your fulfilling adventures patrolling the train station. For three more months, at which point I will have my three year service and put my two degrees in criminal psychology to use. Three year service. Oh, you're trying to be a profiler with the FBI. So what leads a bright young mind to choose criminal psychology? Hmm, I guess you could say it chose me. Against my will. And I'm just trying to do some good with it. But it doesn't matter anymore. The FBI rejected me. I found out this morning. Two master's degrees don't cut it anymore. I lied in my application a bit. What's a bit? Oh, covering a series of debilitating mental conditions. That'll do it. A lovely blend of PTSD and various anxiety disorders. Don't worry, I'm properly medicated. And most of the time I'm fine. Better than fine. And by the way, mental disability does not disqualify you from the FBI. So why lie? I don't care what the law says about discriminating against mental illness. They compare my application to one from someone with fully functioning, trauma-free neural pathways, and which one would you choose? The broken one. Why did you wait until today to do this? Partner with someone, I mean. I've known you for five hours and I can already see how much you love this stuff. How could you just switch off that part of your brain? Not part of my brain, it was the whole thing. And it cost me everything. It's a hard horse to climb back on. Kate's going to be a while with the lab if you need to make a call. Uh, it's just my sister. She's 16. I, uh, I take care of her. Or she takes care of me. I'm not sure which. What about you? Do you have family? Wife? Kids? No, nothing like that. Just me and Claire. Is she the only nurse you've had? The only one who lasted. I fired six before I found her. Turns out the broken are better at caring for the broken. What do you mean? Did something happen to her? Or? That's Claire's story to tell.